All right, so uh, next up we have Joshua, another MVP. He also is a trainer. He has an amazing uh, training web website you should check out, xjs.mx, um, um, and he is also a reseller. <laughs> so he does training. He sometimes sells the licenses, and he can do consulting as as well. So, uh, and, and of course, more most importantly, he's a XJS webinar, uh, XJS developer. Please, do we? Are you able to unmute yourself, Joshua, or do I need to unmute you? Hi, Lisa. Hi, hi, everyone. Yeah, I can hear oh, you. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Th thanks. Thanks for your introducing. Um, thanks to Patricia also uh, to. To, to, in, to this space to talk about Sencha XES and my experience working on this tool. Um, hi everybody, I'm Joshua, I'm a Sencha MVP and also I'm a um, software um, engineer focused primarily on front-end development with HTML and JavaScript and, and I am a very, very technical person on XES. And by the way, I'm from Oaxaca, Mexico. This is the south of Mexico. And Mexico is in the south of uh, the United States. And despite of the fact that we speak different languages, English and Spanish, um, with both countries, um, we are countries that um, the software developer has taken a great relevance for the growth of the companies. Um, I would like to talk about my background history working with XJS. Uh, I, I started work developing web pages in 2000, 2005, 2006 with HTML, CSS, and PHP. And I discovered that using these web pages, it also could make programs, applications for those companies where the user registration is, it was needed, was important, capture information with, with forms, maybe upload pictures uh, to the site and later perhaps write comments. Um, in that time, JavaScript was reinventing itself because um, it had been, it had been for, for many years, but it had all, it it always has a very disorganized and difficult to learn difficult to reuse the language but when the term ajax ajax on 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 javascript appeared because those days uh, i think it's, it was like a blessing to, to for the language because because now the pages can communicate with the server without need to, to reload the page. That was a big change. Nowadays, it's very natural for us to be in a single page and, and show more information and, and another, other information without reloading the page. But in that time, the only way to do that is uh, by reloading. And with the new Ajax technology, uh, that was not longer necessary to do so. So it was a huge change. Later, many frameworks appeared to control Ajax because your, for younger programmers like I, like I was, it was a very difficult to use. So in that time, XJS appeared, which not only made Ajax for us, it also broke a set of components. Uh, so in, in, in this way, you no longer need to design uh, with HTML or CCS, you only have to program. Everything is out of the box, ready to use. So it was a, a big help. Sencha was founded over XJS framework around 2010, and the mission was to facilitate the development of web applications with JavaScript for desktop and mobile. Component creation with XJS you no longer have to design the components already exist as i said they are ready to use also javascript always has been a disaster i think it's i would say a big mess it is a very novel and flexible language but unfortunately 
if I take a, and build with JavaScript, I will create something very difficult from someone who builds the same solution in Spain or, or Russia. So in, in, in that sense, Sencha organized this language in an object-oriented programming model to be able to generate, define classes, instantiate objects, create your usable components. So uh, now JavaScript has an architecture patterns, MVC, MVVM, many standardizations. Um, and this is a very important tool. Sencha CMD, Sencha command is a, 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 an included tool. It is a command line to create automatically projects and also prepare for deploy the web production server. Um, with these tools, XJS has found an important space inside companies to create administrative applications because within inside a company, there are many changes where XJS, Sencha XJS give us uh, easy paths to create web apps. So it is not only about the components, which actually it is more than the most important thing that XJS do, I think. But uh, this is also about the architecture and the development patterns. Inside the companies, the people come and go, and it is very important to train constantly. So it is always easier to train in one or two tools instead of teaching Angular, React, jQuery, Bootstrap, Node.js, HTML, CSS, command lines, and, and, and much more. Also, when there are so many technologies, you have to develop several screens with several people with the different levels of knowledge. So in the long term, the result is an application that it seems um, but also it is used and learned it in different ways for the end users. So this is a real history in my experience, a reason for a company that some, some years ago hired me for give a training in XJS. They had a super tool with many years of development. But if you compare one script, one screen with another, uh, they look at totally different because they were built in different times, different versions, tools, not always the same. Uh, they didn't use the, the same designs. So in the long term, it was very difficult to maintain. So they bought XJS to migrate to one single tool. Well, this year, 2021, XJS celebrated 14 years in the market, 14 years. So it is a very mature tool all these years. And I continue learning, developing, giving training in this tool. Many, many people ask me why I have not switched to Angular to React that compared to this, are, they are very popular and everyone is using these tools. Why not you? And you know something? We cannot compare XJS with Angular or React because these are tools that individually are extremely popular. And I, and I would like to re remark this individually. But you know something? To make a complex business application, these tools, that, these tools are not used alone. You, you have to mix with Bootstrap, HTML, CSS, jQuery, Node.js, plugins, packages, and, and beyond. Put everything together, mix everything from, from different versions, from different providers. Try to reuse, try to create all this mix. And now, in that sense, in that way, you can compare with Sencha. So Sencha is not only about XJS. Yes, it, it, it is actually an entire platform and tools around where you will find all the solution to implement the, 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 the entire applications. So uh, this is actually uh, my point of view and I'm very um, appreciate this time to talk about this uh, little background. So thank you, thank you everyone.
Thank you, Joshua. Yeah, I have to say I, I tried to get him to do some angular focus at the when I first met him and not only Joshua, but some of the other MVPs, the existing MVPs, were they had they wanted nothing to do with Angular and React because of that chaos he was talking about um, and the lack of compatibility. The you lose the look and feel of the application. So um, yeah, once you once you once we get people using XJS, it, it it's just hard to even consider the other the other frameworks, and it's our job as the sales team obviously to get that get them to that point so um, and then we have like I said getting them trained is, is really important so thank you very much Joshua um, 